Hey guys, welcome to uh, a Banner's reaction. Because I feel like this is the right of every single YouTuber. You just need to make a Banner's video as soon as the Banner's comes out. For me, I just got up, saw my YouTube subscription box, saw there was like, you know, all these Banner's videos and just went, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> Honestly, if the band van Anaconda in this, I'm gonna kill myself because I still haven't finished editing the Destiny Hero video. Apart from that, I don't know something just hopefully that kills Rock because I don't want to see Rocks at locals. The only reason why I haven't been going to my card damn locals recently it's just been Rocks and just more Rocks. Ugh. Anyway, let's just let's just scroll down and. Motherfuckers, they actually blocked... <laughs> they blocked the block dragon. <laughs> You're not allowed to use block dragon. Okay, cool. That's actually... Wow. Okay, that what, hits the consistency of a shit ton of rock decks. I think Megalith is just going to die out. I think Amaphat... Amaphat... Amaphat is... Amad the, rock, the other rock deck. Rock tuna deck is going to still be viable, though. Because you never know how... Well, you never know how that will turn out. People just find their ways. It's like when they try to kill Dragon Rulers. Like, oh, we'll just ban the main Dragon Rulers. Nope, still busted. Oh, they ban the base. Nope, still busted. So, who knows? May Rock Dragon isn't going to be enough of the nail in the coffin, but who knows? Jet Synchron! Oh, fuck yes. You know what this means? They have effectively just went, no, you're not allowed to do your 15 minutes combo into True King of All Calamities. Thank you, Konami. I, I, I can I can rest easy. <laughs> this also means you can't do other stuff, mainly needle fiber shenanigans. <sighs> this is great. Oh my god, what? Oh, the hit O line too. Oh my god, they're hitting all the tunes. Oh my god, this is this is getting better by the second. <laughs> yes, finally, Synchro will die. X Y Z will rise up again. Is it? Oh, oh, oh. So they just hit Blood Dragon and the two tuners. Yep. Wow. Okay. You know what? That's actually straight off the bat. That's amazing. <laughs> They effectively, uh, yeah, we'll kill Vok, and then we'll also kill any chances of Neva Fiber being abused. They didn't hit all, ki all Calamities, which, I mean, fair enough. If you're going to hit the Tuners instead of the boss monsters, I think that's a better call anyway. So, yeah, good job, Konami. I'm proud of you. You, you actually managed to ban something on this ban list, despite the fact there's been no competitive play. Uh, let's see what we've got. Limited... Double Iris. Double Iris? Pen Magician. At one. Pen Magician. Pen Magician? Pendulum Magician. Fuck. Okay, let's see. Let's go. Let's go. I need to... I'm gonna have a look. Pump tail. I forgot what Double Iris does because I never played Pen Magicians. So, having it at one over, you know, perform powers is pretty interesting. Uh, once I turn, target one dark spell cast to control, apply the effect, and then destroy this card. Once once applied, any da da da, doubles battle damage. Cool. Main effect, if this card is destroyed by battle, a card effect. Does that pop effect trigger this? I hope so, because this is just... Oh, it's a pendulum graph searcher. Huh, that's pretty cool. Okay, having that one might be nice. On top of that, it is searchable by Pendulum Coal, but then Pendulum Coal doesn't let you search it. I'm sure there's other ways. <gasps> yes! Yes! Yes, King! Yes! Finally. Life is worth living for. We have the Phantom Knights of Rusty Bidich at one. I can update the script for Phantom, for Phantom Knights, and most importantly, I can revisit my... Um, Phantom Thief deck yet again because I can now go look at me. I have Rusty Bardage. Ha ha ha. <sighs> I, this is oh my god, that's so good. I was thinking, no, they can't. They have to bring back Rusty Bardage because if you listen to that podcast episode, if that podcast episode ever did come out, I forgot which one it was where we made me and Ethan made Banish Predictions. I went, they're gonna have to bring back Rusty Bardage because they're making new Phantom Knight support. They have to bring him back. Here we are. 
They brought him back. I am so fucking happy. Huh. Cold by the grave at one. Please don't tell me that's what I think it is. No, don't don't do this to me. No. 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 My counter. No. So they took away our counter to hand traps. I mean, to be fair, I counted a lot of graveyard decks. I'm going to just have to... I might just play Necro Valley. <laughs> Fuck it. I might as well just be a Ghost Keeper player again. <sighs> if I can't have my funny card that lets me banish it and stop them from doing things, then I might as well just do Unflick. They actually did it. They actually bought Harpies. 2-1. They actually bought Arby's to one. I think keeping it one is a fair call. It's effectively just for Geki for back row. So it's something you decide in on the off chance you draw it, and then it's useful in that situation. I think that's a fair fair call. It's still a bit salty about um cold by the grave. Huh. <sighs> is that it? That is it. Okay, we're moving to semi limited and semi limited. I'm hoping I'm hoping malicious isn't on it. I'm really hoping. Motherfucker, he's still there. Okay, but the did. What the fuck? There's, there's four semi limits. And a bunch of them is missing. Oh, God. Pretty much they decide to semi limit ABC Dragon Buster. You know, I think that's good for all the budget ABC players. They unlimited two of the Burning Abyss cards. Because. Is Burning Abyss doing anything? My answer is probably no. Totally awesome at two. That's a. Uh, that's a why. I'll give you. I'll sell that one now. That's a real boy. <sighs> we'll have to see what Terry totally Wilson does it to. I'm trying to think what decks can currently abuse it. Shark? No, no one's playing Shark. There's something. Plunge of Troll. Yep, yep, fair enough. Okay. Oh, you fucking kidding me. Jesus. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna say this right now. Pantheism of the Monarchs. At free. <laughs> Let me plug this right now. I'm going to plug this right now. Right. right. You see this video? See this video? This video is more relevant. Watch this video. Learn about how good Pantheism is. Learn about how good Monarchs is with free Pantheism. And then play Monarchs. Like, come on. <laughs> free Pantheism for Monarchs is what the deck needed. For these other things... Two guy with Underworld, that's your rank 3 enabler. They're just unlimiting everything for Burning Abyss. This is Burning Abyss, of course. Evil Gishi, Gus Kraken. Gishi, Ritual, at 3. Oh my god. Ooh, in one of them is still limited. we we'll have to find out which one's that. Uh, yeah, Mine August. Mine August is the one that lets you just shuffle targets in the graveyard. And I think that's the part of the hand loopy one. Glass Kraken is the one that lets you... Yeah, this is the hand loopy one that lets you mind crush, effectively. So we gain this back. This one, no. <laughs> oh. Um, um, hmm. Okay. And the Makura the Destructor, I believe that got a... I just look at it like this. Oh, yeah, Tide of the Grave, oh, yeah, that's a uh, one-off card. Uh, this one. This do get a similar, right? Yeah. Yeah, because this is the original version. This is the new version. So if this card is sent from the monster zone to the rear yard, you can activate this effect. This turn, you can activate one trap card from your hand. I think, because, yeah, we have to send him it now. That's fair enough. He can come back. <sighs> and then Widow Anchor is the one that lets you steal cards. That, it's been one, two, for a very long time. I mean, all the other main cards are either banned or limited. So, I think it's a fair call to have Widow Anchor. <sighs> okay. All right, let's talk about all the hype cards that I'm just going to be going bonkers with. Mainly with the fact, one... <laughs> fucking block dragon and the <laughs> fucking hyper fat needle fiber roots are dead. I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. They're dead. I'm happy. <laughs> um, the main thing I also was happy to see 
was Rusty Bardic being back at one in time for the video. Well, Phantom Knight video. I have to first finish the Destiny Hero video first, and I need to get Ethan around so we can do our test hands. Because I don't know how else I'm going to do it for that part of the video. Cool, by the way, if kind of pressing this here at one, hopefully it will be back at three next ban list. Gold Sark really wanted back at three, not happening obviously, hopefully next ban list. The main thing I'm happy to see is Pantheism at three. I can finally justify doing a Monarch video because without Pantheism at three, I would have honestly had a fucking bit. I, I don't know, playing Monarchs without three Pantheism hurts because that's a lot you can see just not there. <sighs> but anyway, I'm going to have a more in-depth discussion with Ethan at a later de date. Um, hopefully next time you see me, the Disney Hero video will be done. I'm waiting on Ethan for that part now. I'm going to be working on the Greatest Keeper video next. Not Greatest Keeper, so I've done that one. The Fantasy Night video for Halloween. I'm definitely going to be trying out a, um, Phantom Knights with Rusty Bardich and the new Phantom Knight support. So look forward to that. I'll be getting back in my groove. Anyway, um, thanks for watching and goodbye.